Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this Salesforce Agent 4 series, today we are going to learn about how we can enable the Agent Force in Salesforce Developer Edition using the Scratch Org in Salesforce. So earlier we have seen how we can create and enable the Agent Force Org using the Trailhead account in Salesforce. So for that org, we need to log in with our Trailhead account and from there we can create the Trailhead Playground Org for the Agent Force where we can use or where we can create the agents and get the hands-on on practice for the agent force in Salesforce. But now with the Spring 25 release, we can create the agent force org using our normal Salesforce developer edition by creating the scratch org. So now before creating the scratch org, let me show you by logging with the developer account. Here you can see this is my Salesforce developer account. Now as I search for the agent force in the quick find, so here you can see here we have don't have option to create an agent and also as I search for the Einstein setup here you can see here also we don't have option to set up the Einstein to create the agent or to enable the agent force in Salesforce. Now how we can enable this in the Salesforce developer edition org so for that we need to create the scratch org and from that we can enable the Einstein setup and then we can use or we can create our agent in agent force. So in this video, we will learn about scratch org in Salesforce. After that, how we can create the agent force enable scratch org from the Salesforce developer edition. And then I will explain how we can open the scratch org and then how we can enable the agent force in scratch org in Salesforce. So for that, watch the video till end and don't miss any step. And if you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So whenever you post a new video, you will get an update. And before moving ahead, here is very big announcement for the Salesforce Geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course. In that, we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way. So you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level. In that we have covered 10 modules, you will get lifetime access. So here you can see, here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce. After that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. Now let's understand what is the scratch org in Salesforce. So a scratch org in Salesforce is a temporary Salesforce environment used for the development and the testing. So here as you click on the app launcher and then as you search for the scratch org, here you can see here we have active scratch org and then scratch org infos. Now as I click on this active scratch org, So here you can see, here I don't have any active scratch org in my Salesforce org. So now I will create the scratch org and after that I will show you how we can enable the agent force in Salesforce developer edition using this scratch org. So now before moving ahead, make sure you have installed the Salesforce CLI in your system. So why this? Because we are going to create the scratch org using the VS code. So after installing the CLI, you need to connect the Salesforce org that means this Salesforce development org to your VS code that you have installed in your system. So for that, how we can connect the Salesforce org with the VS code, the detailed video I have given in description box, you can go through it so that you will get an idea what is the Salesforce CLI, then how we can connect our Salesforce org with the VS code and after that, whatever the steps we are going to perform to create the scratch org in Salesforce, that also you will be get more understandable. So here you need to navigate to this website where you can see the scratch org access. Now as you scroll down, here you can see here we have sample scratch org definition file. We need to copy this file. So here I am copying this file. So in this file we have already added the Einstein OpenAI platform feature which is used for create the scratch org in Salesforce. Now I have copied this file. Now let's open the VS code that you have installed. And make sure this VS code is already connected with your Salesforce org. Now in that video, I have also explained how we can create the folder in our Salesforce project. 
so here you can see i have already created one project with aa as a name and in this project here you can see here we have one configuration folder in that we have one file which is project scratch and then definition.json as i open this file so here you will see here we have already one file so here we need to remove this file for that select all and then delete this file now we need to paste the code that we copied from the salesforce documentation so here you can see i have pasted the code that i copied and then save this file here you can see the file gets successfully saved now after saving this file we need to enable one setting in our salesforce org for that we need to navigate our salesforce org and then click on this gear icon go to the setup after that in the quick find box search for the dev hub and here you can see under the development option we have dev hub click on it now here you can see in the dev hub setup we have enable dev hub option so here i have already enabled it now if you are creating the scratch or first time you need to enable this one once you enable the dev hub you cannot disable it again after that again you need to navigate to the vs code and then you need to open the command palette for that you can press the control shift p or also you can click on this view and then click on this command palette now in this command palette you need to search for the sfdx colon after that authorize a dev hub so here So here you can see here we have option authorize a dev hub you need to click on this then you need to provide the alias you can provide anything so here i am providing ts info so here i provided ts info and then press the enter key after that here you can see running sfdx colon authorize a dev hub org and then you need to log in with your credential again so here i am clicking on login and now here you can see authentication successful so here you have to make sure we can only enable the three active orgs in our salesforce developer edition so here we have already checked we don't have any active scratch org now after authentication successful again we need to navigate to our vs code and then again we need to open the command palette for that here i am opening the control shift p and then here i am searching for the scratch so here you can see here we have create a default scratch org that means now we are going to create a new scratch org in our salesforce developer edition so here i am selecting this one so after selecting that command here you can see here we need to select the project scratch definition.json this file that we provided so here i am selecting this file and now here we need to provide alias again here i am providing you can provide anything as per requirement and then press the enter key now here you can see enter the number of days 1 to 30 that means here we need to provide how many days we want to use this scratch org here we can provide 1 to 30 so here i am providing 30 that means after 30 days this scratch org will get expired and if you want to delete this org before the 30 days you can delete it so here after providing the days press the enter key and here you can see running sfdx create a default scratch org so it will take a little bit of time to execute the command and here you can see sfdx create a default scratch org successfully ran now let me close this one again as i navigate to a salesforce org let me open the scratch org so here you can see my active scratch org as i refresh the page here you can see agent for scratch org and now here you can see the edition which is developer created date 24th of 24th of june 2025 and here you can see we have provided the expiry date after 30 days that means it will get expired on the 24th of july 2025 now we only have created the active scratch org now we will learn how we can open this scratch org that we created for that again navigate to the vs code 
and now before opening the scratch org again let me navigate our developer org so here in the url here you can see here we have developer edition lightning dot force dot com now let me navigate to the vs code open the command palette and then here we need to run the query open default org here you can see here we have sfdx open default org we need to select this one it's running the sfdx now it has been automatically redirected here you can see developer edition scratch dot lightning dot force dot com that means this opened org is our scratch org in the salesforce so earlier in the development edition org when we search for the einstein setup in the quick find we didn't got anything result now as i search for einstein setup in this scratch org here you can see under the einstein generative ai here we have einstein setup click on it and now here you can see here we have already turn on einstein is enabled after that let me enable the prompt template and the deploy prompt template after that again in the quick find you need to search for agent here you can see agent force agent you need to select this one and again here you can see the agent force is enabled now as you scroll down here you can see this option is disabled which is enable the agent force which is the default agent in salesforce as i enable this one here you can see the agent force default has been successfully enabled now to use this agent in our salesforce org we need to open this so this will be open in builder here you can see initially this agent force which is the default agent is not active to activate it we need to open in builder and then here you can see here we have activate button now before activating the agent again let me go back as i open the sales application here we have one agent force icon now as i open this agent force agent here you can see here we have something went wrong refresh and try again as i click on the refresh and again and still it's not working so why it's not working because the agent is not activate it so here let's activate the agent for that click on this activate button and then again as you go to the sales application again click on the refresh and this time here you can see the agent is activated now i want to search something so here i am searching how many opportunities we have so here i give in the prompt and and then as i press the enter key so here you can see there are currently no opportunities so let's do cross verify so here i am opening the opportunities here we have zero opportunities in our opportunity object so here let me create one opportunity so here i am providing anything just i want to check when we give the prompt to the agent it is giving correct response or not and again as i open the agent again copy the same prompt paste and then enter and here you can see here we have one opportunity and agent has given successful response which is there is currently one opportunity in our salesforce org so in this way we can enable the agent force in the salesforce developer edition using the scratch org in salesforce so in this video we have seen what is the scratch org then how we can create the scratch org using the vs code and then how we can enable the einstein setup and use the agent in the salesforce developer edition org 
I hope whatever I explain you understood that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So whenever you post a new video, you will get an update. Thank you.